It's Easter season, a time of religious festivals and family gatherings. One of the most beloved traditions is the painting of the eggs. The Ethnographic Museum of Zagreb presents the exhibition of egg artists, so to speak. They are traditional folk artists from the Croatian villages. But there are also eggs that pretend to high art. There is scarcely a month without a fair on the main square, and now it's time for the Easter fair, of course. It's a modest affair, but there are many cute souvenirs. All of them are variations on two symbols, the egg and the heart. But if you want to see king-size eggs, you should go to the old town. Capitol, the Church Hill, is the ancient abode of the bishops of Zagreb. The region of Koprivnica presents its huge Easter eggs in front of the cathedral. This region is famous for its folk artists, some of whom were the greatest geniuses of naive art in the world. As the sun sets, we move 100 metres north of the cathedral to the Commedia Theatre. This theatre usually shows musicals, but tonight is a free night. It's a traditional Easter folklore evening organised by the Zagreb Tourist Board. The folklore ensemble Turopole comes from the region of the same name. It's a plain south of Zagreb, known for its traditions. Our ensemble dances 38 different dances. Most of us, especially older members, know them all. Still, my favourite dances are those from our region, the region around Zagreb. What are their names? Polke, Drmeshi, Šetnje, Dučec. We decided to present certain areas of Croatia. The concert is called Songs and Dances of the Croats. It will show the Croatian north, the south and the islands. The ensemble has had more than three and a half thousand concerts, as many as 70%, which is impressive. This is a gift to tourists from all over the world.